Good morning. Tracy here with Sweet Spot E Magazine. Thank you so very much for the subscribers, for the comments, for the likes, the views, the shares, for the members. I appreciate everyone. You guys know I like to just jump in. So this morning I woke up. I don't know what it is about. When I wake up, I hear songs. I feel like somebody's getting locked up. I don't know what it is. I feel like somebody is getting locked up because I heard that song. I'm locked up. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have courage. Well, if someone's getting locked up, they are going to need some courage. Either way, or somebody has had to display some courage to get out of a situation so that they don't get locked up. What's the message, Spirit? Thank you. Someone has some gratitude. Gratitude. Maybe they've allowed themselves to come out of that box of limiting beliefs of only being, uh, I can, if I can see it, that's the only thing I believe in. But if I can't see it, I don't believe it. Someone has some gratitude. It's like it's a brand new day. They're getting a, I feel like they're getting a new a new chance into the unknown. Something that's or somehow they're connected with this new chance into the unknown though. Or somebody is is grateful that they're getting a new chance into the and then they, they can't say exactly how it, but they know that they're connected to this person and they don't know why they feel this connection but it's something about this person this place this thing something that they're grateful for they're connected someone needs to know that you are enough you are just right you are perfect for whatever this is whether it's meeting your your divine counterpart whether it's going for that perfect position whatever it is you are enough someone is growing they're growing their spiritual beliefs they're becoming more mature they're becoming more determined they are deciding they are not going to just fall for anything any longer because now they are receiving, but they're receiving spiritual gifts, spiritual downloads, spiritual blessings from God, from the universe. They are definitely in receiving mode. And here's nature. Something about nature, whenever we, nature recreates itself, nature never stops. Nature always grows. Nature, even if nature dies, it's it finds a way to grow again. Someone is, they're receiving because they had to release what was no longer for them. And once they made that release, Now they can receive. But there, it's like they re, they received some type of special message from God because they were, they're grateful in their relationship with God. They, they don't, they, they know they can't see God. They can't touch God, but they feel God in here. They feel connected and their spiritual belief their spiritual ascension, their spiritual growth, it's growing. It's getting bigger. They're receiving downloads from God. And God's letting them know what it is that they need to release. So that they can have abundance. 
bottom of the deck we have the devil. Someone may be releasing toxic behaviors. They may be releasing contracts. But whatever it is, it's like, I feel like they have, because we have the three of wands, the ace of pentacles, I mean, yeah, the ace of pentacles and the five of swords. So I feel like this person, they, they're grateful because now they're able to see that what they needed to actually really turn their back on and, and what they're actually wanting to receive. It's like this person had to kind of turn their back on the promise of just gold and jewelry and tangible shit because they see that that was not the way. That was not the way to their happiness. That was the way to the devil, for the devil to continue to deceive us. And they're grateful for that lesson. It was a hard lesson. It was a hard lesson. But they had to understand that everything that you can touch does not mean it's of value. Our greatest inheritance is nothing that we can place in the bank, in a brick and mortar building. Our greatest inheritance is what we can place in a spiritual bank. I feel like someone had to understand that. They had to hear that. They had to really listen. They're grateful because it's like, like I said, Archangel Gabriel is calling, blowing that horn. And these pe this person or these people, somebody feels connected. They don't know how. It's like they've, they've, they've never allowed themselves to, to really completely let themselves be enveloped in the love of God. Because they have felt like they needed to have these outside relationships, these outside attachments, these outside people that are just telling them you're doing it right or you're doing it wrong. Because, But they didn't. They didn't need that. They needed to just take that step when God says to take that step. If God says don't go, don't go. God says, go left, go left. He says, duck and, duck and bob, or bob and weave, bob and weave. He says, go right, go right. And someone is understanding now that they're getting a brand new start. They're getting a second chance. They're getting a chance to get it right. Because now they done some soul searching and they see that they did it wrong they're looking at the people around them the people that they were following and they see that those people were just about trying to trying to get some type of money trying to do trying to just feel like they were giving them scraps like this is what you need that's all you need that's all you need in order for you to be happy, that's all you need. But it was not that. It's this. That's love. That's that, that God love. This is that, that love that starts with self and then it radiates to everyone else. That person needed to, to have that first. They needed to to do that, to get that step first. That was the most important. But they missed that. They they glossed over that because someone said, ah, who needs love whenever you can buy everything that you want? And that person had to find out the hard way. You can buy everything except for love, respect, compassion 
empathy. Things that deal with the heart. Money can't buy you that. No matter how much you have, money cannot buy you that. What else? Someone is growing. It's almost like they're receiving a new start. They're What else, Spirit? Something about some strength. They had to find this inner strength to be able to overcome what they no longer needed. They had to really work on themselves. Going to the lab with their pen and their pad. Someone needed some strength to tame the beast within themselves so that they could receive the message that God was telling them. They could receive the direction so that they could understand they needed to release someone who was trying to create something, trying to throw these illusions at them, trying to keep them in a in a cloud. Someone needed to to release this type of person. Someone who thought that they were the master manipulator. Someone who tried to to spin spin a situation with their words to try and keep someone else cloudy, to keep their head in the clouds so that they really didn't weren't able really to see what was actually going on. Someone needed to release that type of individual because they saw that that person was what was helping them to stay in balance, with, was helping them to have that broken heart. I mean, this them believing in this type of person is what cause them to break their own heart because they allow themselves to live in illusion. Always off balance. Always thinking that something was better than something else or someone else was more more giving and they, they viewed someone else as being less than because this ma master manipulator told them that they were less than. Whereas this person happened to see that it was actually the man manipulator. What? That was the piece of shit. Someone was stuck for a while. They were stuck, but they had to learn this lesson. They had to learn this valuable, unavoidable lesson about what's truly important. What else? Bottom of the deck, we have the five of wands. This was that manipulator, that liar, that thief, that person that thought that they were a half nickel slip. This was that person that thought that they could get away with it. They thought that if I if I cast these illusions and I just stand back and I don't say too much, but I'm just in that one person's ear, no one else will see it. No one else will know. Because that per I'll just tell that person, this is between me and you. I'm just giving you some good advice. 
don't tell nobody else. Those type of words to make a person feel stuck. Because someone thinks, oh, I got a secret. I got to, I have to do my best not to let somebody down. Somebody who's lying to me. Somebody who's manipulating me. Somebody who's trying to fuck my entire life up. I've got to keep this secret. Yeah. Keep that secret, bozo. Because that's exactly what, that, what they want you to do. They want you to keep that secret so you can be stuck. They want you to keep that secret so they can unalive you without everyone else knowing. They want you to keep that secret so people will, they can sit there and have secrets about you. That triangulation. Yeah, somebody wanted to have some secrets. But it's time for those secrets to come out. It's time for somebody to go to the top of the mountain and start singing like a damn canary. Because they see now that that master manipulator, that liar, that thief, that bullshitter, that punk, that piece of shit, help them to break their own heart. All because somebody thought that, oh, I can just play tricks, get this person to, to do whatever, to go away, to come towards me. That way I can, I can control somebody. I can control the way that they're moving. I can control where they come, where they go, if they go anywhere, if they stay home. I can control it all. And they're not going to say anything because they think that 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 magician is like, that asshole's keeping my secret. That asshole's being such a fool about the relationship that's so important to him. He's keeping my secret. Who knew? Who knew I was dealing with a dummy? Who knew I told that dummy, don't tell nobody, and that dummy didn't tell nobody so I can make that person come and go and do as I want? Who knew that person was going to be so fucking stupid to keep all my lies to themselves? And not only keep them, but act like they believe them. Not only act like they believe them. Who knew that dummy was going to start to act out on them? Take it out on the person that I lied about because I lied. Who knew that person was going to be that dumb? But I feel like that person, the one that they thought was dumb, the one they, they pegged as stupid, the one that they called their, their sisters, their cousins, their friends, called them and said, ah, oh, this, that, and the other one that they lied to, come to find out that person wasn't that dumb. Come to find out that person wasn't that dumb. It's like their their lies were being exposed. And they and it was time. The seven of wands and the eight of wands, yeah. Someone could see how they needed to really protect themselves against somebody else's attacks. someone else's dark energy. Somebody else had nothing but confusion. They wanted to attack somebody. They wanted to throw shit, you know, everything to keep that person stuck, everything to keep that person in a state of confusion. Someone saw that they had to protect themselves. 
They saw that it was lies that they have to protect themselves from. They saw that it was that manipulation. They saw it was someone trying some some magic, that master manipulator who thought that they could rule the world because they did it with somebody else and the shit worked. But this time it wasn't working. This person, it wasn't working. Because this liar, this thief, this master manipulator didn't know who they was coming up against. And who they was coming up against wore the real crown. That person was not afraid to get down. Seven, seven, seven on the board right now. They thought that what they was going to do was going to work, but it didn't. Never came to complete fruition. I mean, it caused some damage, which is why that other person had to wake the fuck up. Because they had to understand that they were being damaged. But it woke that person up, not just to this new love, this new start in love, but it woke this person up to the love that they needed to have for God and the love that they needed to display for themselves. Ten of Swords, yeah. They tried it. That master manipulator tried it. Tried it, tried it, tried it. But it didn't work. It did not work. They even tried to, to withhold their cup of love. They even tried to, to gaslight this person. Tried to make it like, oh, I love you so much. I'm here for you. I want to do this. I want to do that. But whenever the person needed someone, that person was nowhere to be found. Which is what helped that person to wake the fuck up. Because the person started saying, well, wait. Before I started following you, I had help. I had support. I felt good. I felt included. I felt this. I felt all these wonderful things. But then whenever I started to believe your lies and follow you, that's when I started feeling fucked up. That's when everything seemed like it started to end. Doors started to close. People started to leave my life. Relationships that I had worked Hard on, they started to end. Because the devil is only here to steal, to unalive, and to destroy. That's it. No more, no less. The devil is not here to love us. The devil is not here to protect us. Not here to help us to reach any pinnacles in our life. The devil is only here to bring us lower than we could have ever, ever, ever imagined being low. The devil is only here to make us think that we cannot do it, that we cannot reach anything, that everything is in shambles. That woe is me. The devil wants you to play victim. The devil wants you to feel sorry for yourself. Because once you feel sorry for yourself, he's just going to blow more. Add more. Uh, fan. What is that? Fan the fire some more. That's what it is. What else? I thought I saw something fall. 
What else, babe? But yeah, someone <clears throat> felt like someone they woke up. But once they woke up, it was like that devil all of a sudden got scared, became worried. Because this person was no longer living in that nightmare. Now this person is is thinking, how can I make it right with these people from the past, with this relationship from the past? Someone who was that star. Someone who, who had that stability. And they were long-term. They were not just in and out. They were constant. They were there. They were the ones that you could depend on. You didn't have to ask them twice. They were there. Someone had to see. They had to see for themselves. What else, Spirit? They had to see for themselves. And they had to balance themselves. They had to get in balance. They had to have a new way of thinking. They had to start backtracking, thinking about what they thought and how they thought and when they started thinking this about this person and that person and doing this and doing that. They had to kind of go back there. so that they could gain balance within themselves and putting end to, to what was behind the curtain. This is somebody that is not even a big person. It's just that this is a regular person, but they're making themselves seem so big. This could be a Scorpio. Trying to make themselves seem bigger than what they are, but really they're not. They're a little small, little minute piece of shit. That's it. What else, spirit? What else? Someone is, they're releasing, they're going into the unknown. They're starting over. They're, they're having a new opportunity at stability, at loyalty, at the, the type of home life they want, at love, at that family life. They're having a new opportunity because they were actually able to receive that message. And the message said what it's time for them to release. Anything else? What else? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. This gave this person an opportunity to really look at things. To really look at how they became stuck. It's like they became stuck listening to every other motherfucker out there. Except for relying on themselves. They became stuck following the crowd. As opposed to just taking time out for them to have their own spiritual awakening for them to seek their own truth. And that's the truth. They had to cut, they had to take the sword of truth and cut through all of this bullshit to get to the truth. To get to what they wanted. To get to where they felt secure. 
to get to what's true for them. And what's true for them is they want it more than just the tangible. They wanted their, their heart chakra to be activated. They wanted to be able to have all of those emotions that they were afraid to express to be able to come out and to, to feel confident enough and comfortable enough to be able to express those. They wanted to be with their divine feminine because the moon represents the divine feminine and the sun represents the divine masculine. They wanted to be with their divine feminine. And this is something that they have had had to take some time out. They did had to really think about it. They had to take a step back. They had to pray on it. Because this wasn't just going to be an easy move. This was going to be a life-changing, life-altering decision. That this was like their deepest desires. This was their deepest prayers. This was their deepest wish. This was that if they had something that was the most heartfelt desire, this is it. And that's the truth. That's the truth. This person, they, they really had to put some, put some fears to rest. They really had to, to do that dark night of the soul. They really had to look within. They really had to stop allowing the illusions from the moon to cloud their own judgment. They had to accept the truth. Nine of Cups. Them accepting their truth was their wish fulfillment. Them accepting their truth is giving them, it's going to give them everything that they want. Something about a Queen of Swords. Something about some secrets. And they could be that this person truly desire to be with this queen of swords but it's been a secret for so long because this person feels like that this queen of swords is their is their counterpart but this person was like their secret their secret love their secret desire their secret for so long and it's like this person has been looking at this person getting down doing her thing because look at the, how these two are positioned he's just sitting here looking at her she looking like she all tatted up she's got her sword out she she doing a damn thing she's cutting away lies she's cutting away bullshit she don't look like she playing it all she looking like she wearing her crown like she she fought for that crown she know what time it is. Damn. Those two look. It's like out of the two. She's the fire. He's the one that's keeping her calm. She the one that's going to be like, oh, excuse me, what you say, motherfucker? He's going to be like, no, no, no. She didn't mean that. She's okay. She's okay. But he likes that. <laughs> he likes that about her. He likes that little spunky ass fire. He likes how she'd be like pulling that sword. Excuse me? I know the hell you didn't. Everybody else is like, whoa, she got the sword. And he's just like, baby, calm down. And she's like, okay, daddy, I'm calm. But he likes that. 
he gets excitement out of that. It's like I could feel this person giggling right now, thinking about it. Yeah. Working with this person, collaborating with this person, being with this person, being on the same team as this person, that is where he wants to go. That's his new start. That's where the value is. That is where he should have been. This is the relationship that he needed. This is that relationship. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because these two are are equally yoked. These two are equally yoked. They're both into the giving and the receiving. They both have each other's back. And he cares for her a great deal. He's always cared for her. There was something about her. He always had that twinkle in his eye for her because he knew that she always had that twinkle in her eye for him. <laughs> and he don't even have to worry about her. He don't have to worry about having his own back because he knows she's on it. She on it. He ain't got to worry about having his own back because she is on it. She's there. She ain't letting nothing get to him. Nothing. Nothing. There's like no one that can come between them. There's no amount of lies. There's no amount of trickery. There's nothing that can come between them that's going to break them up. Because these two are, are, are connected. They're connected more so than not just here. They're connect they, they knew what their connection was before they even got here. They may not even have been together, but they've met. But even whenever after they met, and even after they parted, that connection never went away. Never. And it was connections like that. They were all, they were each other's wish fulfillment. But for whatever reason, they weren't together, but they were, and as they were apart, they were both, they both went through life, but there was still something that they felt was missing, and it was the other. That queen of swords was missing her king of swords, and that king of swords was missing his queen of swords. That divine Masculine was missing his divine feminine, and the divine feminine was missing her divine masculine. What else, spirit? Someone has made a decision. They decided that. They're gonna, they're gonna go for what they want. They're going to make that move. They're going to grab the bull by the horns. They're going to, I'm going to win this race. <laughs> but somebody made that decision. It's time for them to embark on a way that they know is gonna be successful, on a way that they know
this emperor. I feel like this emperor is like a, is an earth angel. Something about this emperor. There's something about this emperor. This is the divine masculine. <laughs> but he's he's ready. He knows where his passion, he knows who makes him feel passionate. He knows who gets his blood boiling, who wakes him up. And it's not just because of something physical that he can see. It's because he studied this person He's researched this person. He's been looking at this person. He's been every chance he gets. And what he sees about this person is that this person helps him to feel calm. Somehow this person helps him to feel like I, I, I'm, I, can, I can move away from that, that negative, that toxic. I can go towards what I want. I can go towards what I deserve. It's like all of these swords are in the unknown. It's like not knowing and then having, you know, not really knowing how the other person felt, but acting away because you felt like you had to protect yourself. But now later in life, seeing that I can go away from that. The Spirit wants me to, to move forward. Spirit wants me to have that faith. Spirit wants me to understand that this connection is here for a reason. That I couldn't explain why I felt connected to this person and this person couldn't explain why they felt connected to me. But there's a connection there for a reason. And the more he looks, the more he studies, the more he researches, the more he background checks, the more, the more, the more, just like the more he loves this person, the more he's like having a different outlook. It's like the more that he feels like he's kind of being spiritually awakened to what was keeping him stuck or what had him stuck or where he became stuck or, and it could have been because there was somebody else in the mix. Somebody else that was trying to throw some confusion. And now he sees that it was that confusion that was thrown that made it so that that person couldn't see. who they were dealing with when they were dealing with them because they had that person thinking that I'm going to give you everything you need. You want that wish fulfillment? You got it, baby. But it wasn't even like that. Instead, this person, they didn't get any of what they wanted. They felt like they had to hold on to everything. They felt like they couldn't express them. They couldn't be themselves. They couldn't open up. They had to keep the certain things kind of closed. They had to be guarded. They had to, felt like they, they couldn't even really be themselves in that relationship because they felt like this other person, they had to kind of be guarded and they couldn't really express themselves. They couldn't really say, Oh, I like this. I like because that other person was like, what? Huh? Queen of coins, knight of coins, and the tower. 
So it's like maybe this person, they, they got with someone else that they thought would be a good match. They thought that this person would, would go the distance. They, they thought that this person would have their back. And, you know, this person, maybe they thought they excite me enough, you know, but they didn't know that this person was going to rock their world, not in the best way, not when it's next to the devil. This person was there to try and destroy their world. This person was was there for the long haul. And they felt like as long as they gave this person sex, you know, put him to sleep a little bit, you know, make him feel like, okay, you ain't going nowhere, that he wouldn't be able to make a decision. But the entire time, that King of Swords is still thinking about that Queen of Swords. That little spitfire. That spitfire. So he started protecting himself. against this person that thought, oh, I'm just going to, I'm using him for his money. You know, maybe, maybe she was attractive or something, or maybe she just really was good with bow, chicka, bow, bow, or what, I don't know what the claim of the fame was, you know, but it was something about her that he got with her, he thought it was going to work. It ended up being a tower, and now he's having to protect himself against her. The one that threw in all this chaos, all this confusion. The one that wasn't really trying to be in a relationship. They was just trying to have the benefits of a relationship. But now, now that he's been able to protect himself, now he wants to, he wants to approach someone. He wants to talk to someone. He wants to have a, a conversation that he is actually led to have. I think that he's looking at, at his divine counterpart, knowing that he wants something more, but he doesn't want to just jump into it. He's not trying to be no fool. Don't nobody blame you for that. Ain't nobody trying to be no damn fool. But he sees that this this person is <clears throat> is a star. This is who he really wants to be with. This is who he really loves. That star. That little spitfire. The one that's all tatted up. Holding that. Yielding her sword. Wielding her sword. But he's concerned. He's worried because you know what? Maybe this person has been by themselves for so long. Because the queen of swords... She's normally a single person. She could be divorced, but she's normally someone that's a single person. And he's worried about that. Like, has she been single for so long that now she can't? I'm telling you, he's thinking about that. He's worrying about her being single for so long Wondering if she will be able to let him in. Because he wants her to be able to, he wants her to let her defenses down. He wants her to know that 
he has her back. That, that they are together. That they are a team. That she don't have to worry about being stuck in no other crazy crap from people trying to do stuff to try and control her, to trap her, to, you know, do all this other bullshit that crazy toxic people do. I'm saying it's not even like that. like he he understands that maybe at one point you know at one point maybe he was whenever they they knew each other or something maybe somebody had to turn their back or something because at one point maybe this person was a little too overbearing because you know with that strength card you have to be able to tackle the beast within you Maybe he didn't, he didn't realize how, how he was coming across or something. He needed to, to finesse that relationship to allow that, that queen of swords or that past person to, to be who she was while he's being who he is. It, it, and it's not even so much that I feel like that that person was trying to control anyone. It was just that. It was, all, it was a matter of mine. Mine. Oh, that's mine. Oh, that person, that's mine. But that's also a type of control. Having to get out of the mindset of that's mine to get into the mindset of we are together. Because when we start thinking that that's mine, then we start thinking, oh, I can tell my stuff what to do. Mm -mm. You don't want to do that with no queen of swords. I mean, you can if you want to. It's not going to turn out the way you expect, want, wish, hope, or even anticipate by a long shot. But this person wants to go up and they want to have something solid with her. They want to they wanna talk to her. They want to just do something, something simple. Something, something simple. Something that shows that they care, but nothing too over the top. I feel like I'm hearing the word organic. Like they want something organic. How it just happens naturally. That type of organic. But they want this to be something that's kept between them, them. They don't want the entire world to know about it. They want to feel like this person and th this king and queen that they have their own safe haven that they're in this together like they don't have to go out and be like oh guess what guess guess what hey look at us over here look at us look we taking pictures and all that other bullshit <laughs> they don't want to be facebook happy they want to be real happy they want to be honestly happy, not Facebook happy. They see this person as a high priestess. And I, I feel like this this concern, this this them, uh this King of Swords being a little concerned. It's almost like I feel like this King of Swords is concerned because, not even concerned, that they feel like this person already knows who they are.
but they're so different now. Like, life has gone full circle and now it's coming back around. They've had to go through some serious lessons. They had to learn about pride. They had to learn about ego. They had to learn about being able to move when it was time for them to move and not being stuck. They had to learn about God. They had to learn about angels. They had to learn about prayer. They had to learn about their own self-esteem, their own confidence, and how they controlled what they allowed themselves to go through. It's almost like they had to put to rest maybe some in and out energy or just moving. Moving just to be moving. Maybe this somebody from the past. Maybe whenever they were younger. Same, somebody that they slept on when they, you know, and I don't mean like oh, sleeping on, but you know, somebody that they slept on whenever they was younger. They didn't think that, well, I'm good. Oh, well, you'll miss me. Not knowing that this was somebody that was meant to be in their life. Somebody that they wanted to talk to. Somebody that they wanted to to speak to, somebody they wanted to share some information with, somebody that they have been looking at, wanting to, like this person is now trying to like draw this person in, thinking of if I, if I put us enough mental energy towards this person, they're going to come to me. They're going to come to me. As opposed to that person just going to them. It's like they want to they want to put enough energy out there so that that person is drawn to them. But I'm going to tell you, if you're a divine masculine and you're waiting for a divine feminine to come to you, Go ahead and put that ace of wands in back in your pocket. Because it ain't about to happen. It ain't about to happen. Especially if she's a true divine feminine. She knows her role. It don't make a difference if she's single or not. She knows her role. Somebody got to go and say something. Somebody got to come with an offer. Somebody needs to have this communication. They're going to have to Say, hey, baby, ring. Hello. Somebody's got to do something. What else, spirit? This magician. Yeah, someone is trying to manifest someone else. And they they want to see if wait, 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 what? Wait, what? Get out of here. We got the magician, justice, hermit, high priestess, and lovers. Okay. See, somebody wants to play. Somebody want to play. So this divine masculine wants to really, almost like they want to 
see if this divine feminine is really this high priestess like he feels that she is and like they want to it's like they want to try and manifest her to say something to kind of give them some type of clue so that she say something and and say my name say my name that's what i'm hearing like they want her to say their name and when she says it then what you're gonna get scared you're gonna run Don't shock yourself thinking that somebody don't know. So this is somebody from the past that they regret that, that in and out energy. They regret not choosing this person. They regret, yeah. But now that's like they, they, are past that regret. Now they just want to, they have a lot of passion. They have a lot of energy. They have a lot of fire. They want to step to that person. But it's almost like they want to make, they want to have a 1,000% sure. And then whenever that person says, okay, this is what their name is. They're not going to be like, they said my name. They said my name. And then what? Then what you going to do? Keep it to yourself. Be afraid to approach. Be afraid to say something. Be afraid to do something. Be, oh, wait, oh, wait a minute. Someone's waiting for their ships to come in. But they're, but they're afraid. They want to make this move, but they are still afraid because they don't want to seem like they are a fool. But you're only a fool if you don't ask. You're only a fool if you don't ask. Closed mouths don't get fed. Mm -hmm. Somebody's working on something. They're working on something that they want to have long term. This is something that they, they wanted to work on a long time ago. This is something that they wanted to, to revive. This is something they, this is somebody they've never forgotten. That's what that is. That is someone they have not ever forgotten. What else, Spirit? Somebody they want to go towards. Because they see this person is also an earth angel. Spirit is bringing these two together. There's no stopping it. There is no denying it. Spirit is bringing these two together together and if that divine masculine wants someone to to say his name wants someone to say his initials wants someone to spit out the address spit out the phone number spit out the the height the weight the shoe size the pants size or whatever so that they know so that they are for sure so that they know that this is where they need to go. This is the relationship that they need to have. And let's get to it. Let's go ahead and say those divine masculine's initials. Are you ready? D. M. 